What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the Fatork 518 watt hour portable power station. This is a mid-sized power station that will be great to use indoors as backup power or outdoors where you typically wouldn't have access to power. Taking a look at the specs, this has a 518 watt hour LifePo 4 battery, a 500 watt continuous power handling and 1000 watts peak, Supports pass-through charging and weighs 18 pounds. Taking a look inside the box, you have the unit itself, a quick start guide and the manual, some solar panel adapters, a USB-C cable, car adapter, and your wall charging brick. Taking a look at the unit itself, this is definitely a very nice looking power station. I love the all black look and the screen looks bright and modern as well. One other thing I really like and don't see on many other power stations is they not only include a cover for the car adapter port, but also one for the regular AC outlets as well. This not only adds some safety by keeping them covered, but also helps keep the ports clean and free of dust if you store this away for longer periods. Speaking of safety, this power station also features an advanced battery management system, which has overheating protection and a ton of other different safety features to keep this unit and your home safe. All right, so taking a look at the ports in front, under this one flap here, you have a car adapter port. Coming to this other flap, you have two AC outlets. Then coming to the center, you have your DC input where you will plug your charging brick, two 12 volt DC outputs, two USB 3.0 ports of USB-A, and then two USB-C ports. One is power delivery 20 watts and the other one is power delivery 100 watts. Coming to the back, you also have this LED light which features high mode, medium, low, and off. Is not incredibly bright, but it's bright enough to light up an outside area or a room, no problem at all. So when charging this up with the included power adapter, it was giving me 87 watts on average. However, it does support dual charging, so when I added my 65 watt USB-C charger into the mix, this bumped the charging speed up to 162 watts. Unfortunately, I did not have a 100 watt charger, but since this does support 100 watts on USB-C, if you use one of those in combination with the power brick, you should be able to get close to 200 watts of charging. So getting into the testing, I drained this power station from 100% to zero using a mini fridge, and it put out a total of 439 watt hours. Doing the math, that puts this unit at a little under 85% efficiency, which is pretty good and similar to other units in this class. Next, I charge with a few different everyday devices so you can see in real world what 518 watt hours can really do. This should give you a better idea if this battery is large enough for you or perhaps you are better off with a smaller or larger unit. First up, I charge a Samsung S8 tablet which has a 8000 milliamp battery. This charged on average at 20 watts and used a total of 6%. So with a tablet like this one, you should be able to get around 16 to 18 charges. Next, I charged a Samsung A02 cell phone, which has a 5,000 milliamp battery. This charged at 13 watts and used a total of 3%. So with most phones, you should be able to get anywhere from 30 to 35 charges. Lastly, I charged a Nintendo Switch, which has a 4,300 milliamp battery. This also charged on average at 15 watts and drained a total of 3%. So with this power station, you'll be able to charge a Nintendo Switch 33 to 34 times. As mentioned earlier, I did do my initial test with a mini fridge. This fridge consumed anywhere from 3 to 390 watts as it cycled on and off and lasted a total of 8 hours and 25 minutes. If you are looking to have backup power for major appliances, you'll definitely want to look at something larger, but for everyday tech and things that draw 500 watts or less, this one here will definitely get the job done. Overall, this is definitely a good little power station. Not only are these great to have when the power goes out, but also perfect to take with you camping, to the beach, or anywhere else you might need power where you normally wouldn't have it. If a mid-sized power station is something you are looking to buy, this one here from Fatork is definitely a great option to look at. All right, well that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.